what happened today in the stadium was magical. That's one of the reasons why college football is special. It's one of the reasons why you coach is to see something like that happen. Hopefully there's somebody out there that's going through tough times that can see that as a motivation to see someone overcome such great obstacles in life. My story begins in St. Louis, Missouri. I went to a high school at Christian Brothers College High School. CBC is what it's called. Freshman, sophomore year, I was just playing football because I loved it and it's just something I did since I was eight years old. And then after sophomore year, started getting recruited. I knew he was good, but I didn't know how good he was. Coaches kept saying, do you realize how good he is? And I'm like, I mean, he's fast and he catches the ball and they're like, yeah, but he does things with his body that are not teachable. He does it naturally. Going into his junior year, his publicity really kind of picked up. They did a couple of local stories here, you know, in St. Louis. And then, um, of course, anytime you get an Ohio State offer or some of those bigger schools, he had like Alabama and LSU, of course, then your name is really out there. Ohio State and the culture, it just fit me perfectly, I think. I got up here, um, I just felt like it was at home. He was rated in the top 100. He was an Army All-American. Going into my senior year, the week before the game, that's why I tore my first ACL. Right away, we called Ohio State, and I remember Urban Meyer called us right back, and that was, he was like, oh, it, yeah, it sucks. You can't play your senior year, but we'll be ready. And he rehabbed all year, graduate in May, and then a couple weeks later, you go to Ohio State. So we dropped him off, and he was there, I don't know, two or three weeks. He was doing really well. You know, we had talked to the coaches. He said he looked great, his, you know, um, he, he looked like he had really put in the work to be ready to go. And then, um, yeah, he called, I think he called Tyrone, of course, um, after the practice. He was like, I think I did it to my left. Okay, I tore my ACL my second time. You know, it's I got one on my right, one on my left, so it kind of balances out. And uh, you know, now I can redshirt and you know get in the playbook and kind of learn the system. Next year, I can just kind of take off. After surgery, talked to the doctor for a little bit. He said everything looked great. Eight nine months, it'll be perfect. Sophomore year, he can redshirt. Like it's not a big deal. It's okay. We got one and one. We're done. I'm like okay. And then he tore it the third time. My third ACL was kind of when I was like, ah, okay, I've had enough. It was after a drill, and I remember throwing my helmet down. I was like, man, I'm done. I'm done with football. I'm done with it all. And that one was, the first two were hard. Like, I feel like it was hard each time. But that's the one that um, he called. He said, Mom, I'm coming home. He was like, um, I don't know that I can keep doing this. I got to talk to my mom and my dad. I really decided, you know, it's, it's, I still want to keep going. I don't want to look back and regret, you know, what could have happened, what God could have done. Going into spring ball, feeling really good, you know, practiced, um, I think the first like six practices. And um, I get like a, a little bubble route and I caught a bubble and try to make a move and I put my right foot in the ground and um, that's when I just feel it, feel it kind of shift again and pop. And uh, right when I did it, I kind of knew like what it was. I will give him my knees. What do I need to do? Like, what I'll what do, what do we do to stop this? Because it's like, okay, how do you keep being positive? <laughs> how do you tell your son to keep fighting for something that you know he's good at? Um, but there's all this negativity. There's all the people saying. Oh, is he ever going to play again? Oh, Cam just needs to stop. After the fourth ACL, he and I talked. And, you know, I said, you sure you want to do this? And he said, yes. He said, this is my calling, to be a motivation for others. I didn't want to stop playing football and 10 years down the line think what could have 
happened? What could have God done if, if I would have just kept going, you know, or what could, how could I have impacted guys on the team or, you know, somebody out there that's going through something in life right now and they're struggling and it's hard. So I just knew it was much bigger than football, much bigger than me. The day that it clicked for me that the team has him the way he has the team really, really was the day that I got the phone call about he, uh, he him being voted captain. What's up, Ma? Hi. How are you doing? So uh, I just wanted to call and let you know. Uh, so yesterday, uh, the team voted on team captains, and uh, I was voted as one of the team captains. So I just wanted to call and uh, let you know, and I just wanted to thank you. Um, for a guy that didn't even see the field to be named captain, just tells you what kind of character he has. He means so much to everybody. The brotherhood and the love is real. All the practices, all the hard work, all the tears. I remember every time I've, I've torn my ACL, just what the training room looks like and how everybody kind of just comes in and, and they wrap their arms around me with love. When you have ACL surgery four times, that's four times where you go under anesthesia. That's four times where you have to be in recovery on uh, crutches for a certain amount of time. That's four times nine months of recovery. And it's one thing to say, it's another thing to actually watch and see someone continually persevere. I'll be lying to you if I said there wasn't days where I wanted to quit or I didn't want to come into the wood, I didn't want to practice or I didn't, like, I didn't even want to be in meetings. It's hard to watch your kid hurt. And it's not ever that I thought that he couldn't do it or that he wasn't good anymore or any of that. It was, it's hard to see your children hurt and there's nothing you could do. Seeing him play in high school and know how good of a player he was in high school and just not being able to show it because of injuries, that kind of bothered me right there, that part of it. He wants to be out there, he wants to contribute, right? You'd go there to play football, and then when you're just in the training room all the time, um, I think like going to practices, when he would be off on the, side. on the side and the rest, everybody else would be over there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard, right? I, I think for him, um, knowing everything he's been through. So, those are hard. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Going to games and seeing him on the sideline, like you can see, because we know Cameron, you know, we can see he wants to be their first team, but he wants to be out there too, right? Yeah. Like, um, so, yeah. Nobody has ever torn two in each leg and ever played an actual football game after that again. At some point it was, he wanted to show the world and to everybody that has doubted him that he can play. I can't comprehend why things happen the way they do sometimes. Cam Bab, we're gonna keep trying to get healthy to get on the field and when we get healthy, stay healthy. And, and I know he's putting forth the best effort possible. He's staying locked in week in and week out on our game plan. I mean, he's doing everything a young man can be asked of him. Hopefully sometime in the future, the opportunity will show itself. Can I put into words what it'd be like? Absolutely not. I mean, I think the whole team, we get a sideline warning. Everybody get, get back because I think the sideline would empty from the whole team going to go tackle Cam. So. Um, you know, time will tell. We hadn't for sure gotten the word that he was going to play, but he'd been cleared. He mentioned to us that he might get some uh, PT. That's He said PT, PT, and of course me right away, I'm thinking physical <laughs> therapy, right? Like, it's PT, now where are we at? Right. walking into the game. It was different 
and I went around to where the wide receivers in that group warm up. Because I haven't gotten any pictures, any videos of him warming up in fully, you know, suited up. And he was fully in uniform. I just, like tears just started coming down my face. It was the first time where I was really kind of like locked in on a different level, I would say. I just treated it like any other game though. Is he gonna get in the game? If he gets in, are they gonna throw him the ball? It's been since high school that he has caught a pass. I'd watch him warm up, run down the sideline for about 20 yards, and okay, it's coming, it's coming, and still waiting a little bit, you know? <laughs> And then uh, we see him out there. When I started running out, that's when I was like, okay, I kind of got a little nervous right there. My goal was just go play as hard as I could. We found ourselves inside the 10 yard line. I think there was a stoppage in play and you know, brought the whole offense up. And, and CJ says, what do you think about trying to get Cam a touchdown? And I said, absolutely. It was an out route on the far end, and we seen it coming. As soon as the ball went in the air, tears started rolling down my face. It's Cameron Babb. Knee injury after knee injury, and now finally gets on the field. And that was his first career touchdown. Uh, I, 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 I still can't, I still can't explain it. It was just, this is pretty cool, man. for it but just getting that love from everybody man I remember I'm a hug you know Marv and, and Julian and CJ and all these guys and just that but that's when I knew like all the pain it wasn't for nothing that moment on Saturday it had been in my mind and my dreams for five years it was a moment that I'll never forget so many people you know uh, hugging me and talking to me he was like man your mom your mom's looking for you your mom's looking for you and then i just see her kind of you know her crying and leaning over when he came over and he grabbed my hands and for me to see all of that for him that was his moment and um Nobody can ever take that away from him.